Hello everyone. So today we've been just doing crafting because we had to catch up from yesterday's crafting. So it looks like we're going to miss today's lesson plan. So we'll have to do it tomorrow, which means that tomorrow will be even longer than usual. So hopefully they get their lessons, their, their crafting done today so we don't have to pile it up for Friday. I'm only done cutting. So I'm just waiting for them to finish their crafting. I'm done. Um, you're done? I'm all done of it? Cutting. You're done coloring and cutting it all out? Okay, mm -hmm. when your brother's done, I'll give you the construction they're paper you're going to glue. You're gonna glue it on. What are you doing with your pencil crayons? You're not supposed to use them for anything but school. I was trying to draw guys. guys. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't want you using it for anything but school, Logan. I mean, you can only use a pencil. Yeah. No, because I don't know how to draw. All right, guys. So Look. once we're done, we're gonna decorate. Then I'm gonna take pictures and a video, and I'm gonna do a blog thing about decorating for Thanksgiving. I really like this one. That's why I put it on there. You know. And, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Uh, later I have a separate video that's going to be coming out. That's just for those who actually want to know the truth. And it'll have a bunch of links. Can you look at it? Of course, because I have a lot of truth to share. Um, oh, I love you too, Lucas, you cutie. And, um, yeah. I like how you color your, your books here, Lucas, because my Bible's red. Did you know that? Do you want to see what color my Bible was? It's connected to another, it's connected to a Jesus and a our Bible book. Very nice, but you're supposed to cut them out separately. Mommy. Other than that, I'm going to get on to Mommy. what I usually do. My book. Ooh. What I usually Logan. do is watch Logan. some sermons. Mommy, Logan draw this awful group. All blue. He didn't try to like color it different colors. Mm -hmm. And Lucas drawed his bread all red. That's fine. Not it's, red. No, it's brown. Look, it's the color of bread. It's nice. And he drawed the white stuff. I drawed one. The white stuff is supposed to be white inside. You're you're doing okay because that's how we eat bread: brown on the outside and uh, white on the in. Uh, I'm gonna show you my nice ones. Yes, this was the Sermon on the Mount. Little Jesus scene. After Thanksgiving is over with, we're going to be doing Remembrance Day themed uh, crafts. Because Remembrance Day will be coming up shortly. Also, uh, I wanted... Oh, croissants. One of my favorite things to do is make croissants. Let me look. Corn. Your corn is very beautiful, Logan. And then this one. That turkey looks great. And then this one. I like this. This is supposed to be sourdough. Nice bread there, Logan. My, my bread's better than Lucas's. <laughs> I look, think you're both the same on look, the bread there, buddy. Look at the pumpkin. Yeah, I like the pumpkin. And then the last pie. Ooh, that's a nice apple pie. Strawberry and This pie. bread looks so delicious. Your guys' bread looks really delicious. Red leaves. Some of them could have been orange and brown. And yellow. If you look outside, they're all different colors. Orange, yellow, brown, red. I look. So I'm going to watch some sermons, uh, read some of my women's Bible study stuff from Debbie Pearl, and write down some... Um, stuff that I need to learn as a woman and I also will be reading some of the Bible again later and uh, yeah then we'll uh, figure out the rest of the day um, <laughs> that's so cute Lucas <laughs> oh. anyway so I'm gonna go for now and watch my sermon so that I can uh, relax and uh, Put some word in me. Um, so I'll catch y'all a little bit later. Hey, look, I made my own Don't worry guys, I filmed throughout the day so there will be lots to talk about, lots to show you, lots to share. So catch you guys a little bit later. Look at all that, look at With that this? ice towel. Well guys, 
It's that time of evening again when I say goodnight. I also wanted to make sure that you guys know that there are some new videos up on BitChute that are very, very important. So I'm going to link them in the description box. And yeah, so you can look at them if you want to know more science uh, on my side of the fence for this mark of the beast. So yeah, it just keeps piling up and you can refute it all you want, but that just means you're in denial because you just don't want to admit to yourself that you've taken the mark and now you're going to not be saved. And yes, it's very sad. Um, like I said, I've been, well, in, unless you've been reading my blogs, you wouldn't know, but I've said that I'm very upset about how many people in my life has actually taken the mark of the beast and how heartbroken I've been over it. I've been angry because I feel like I could have done more maybe, but then I also know that the Bible says that there would be no way they wouldn't retain any of the knowledge because they have itching ears and they'd rather just follow their own understanding and not sound doctrine. So the great delusion. And it makes me very sad, very heartbroken. So I've been mourning those people. They're still alive right now, but they're the living dead. They're the living dead. And it's hard. Nobody even knows, like, what goes on in my personal life. I don't broadcast too much of my personal life. Just what I want you to see. And that's my home life. My family. Things of that nature. But there's a whole lot of other things. And I've talked about some of it with my family. My family. Brothers and sister and sisters and brother and dad and mom and stuff like that. But there's a whole other side of things. Friends. Uncles. Cousins. It's very painful. So, I know that there's some people out there that follow John MacArthur and what he stupidly said about the Mark of the Beast. Oh, you can be redeemed. There's no sin on the earth that can't be repented for except the unforgivable sin. Clearly, this man has not read all of Revelations because it's very clear that no one who takes the Mark of the Beast is exempt from his wrath none. Actually, it says everyone that has taken the mark of the beast will taste of his wrath. All. Not some. All. And it doesn't, and it also doesn't say that those who are caught up in the air with Jesus are the dead that rises first and then whoever's left alive on the earth. And it doesn't add in there there's no add in in there that says, and the ones who repented for taking the mark of the beast and worshiping his image in ignorance. Nope, it doesn't say anything like that. It doesn't say that reprobates get um, exempt. It doesn't say that reprobates can be redeemed and saved. It doesn't say that people that take the mark of beast can be redeemed and saved. It says that those two groups are literally it's too late too late and for some of you that I'm mourning and sad and angry and heartbroken over quite literally to the point where I was depressed for a while and still having migraine issues over it some of you, some of you 
have seen my posts, have seen my evidence, know I had evidence, and instead of asking me if you didn't understand something or asking me for more evidence, you just decided to go and do it anyway. And that says to me that you fear an invisible enemy more than the Lord. And you're supposed to fe fear the Lord more than anything. You're supposed to put all trust, unwavering faith in the Lord, no matter what. I've talked about this before. It's but a moment. This is but a moment. And then you're in eternity with Jesus. Never to be hurt or hurt or, or sick ever again. So I, I don't even, I don't even know if there's a, such a thing as an excuse here. It's, I would have to pray about it. I don't feel there's an excuse. For those who have seen my posts, for those who have seen that I have evidence, for those who have seen my uh, stories when I shared stuff and have talked about my BitChute account and showed all of this evidence, literally for those people who are closest to me and knew how I felt about this, to just go and disregard everything and not even do your own research and just follow the the... I'm going to call it a hive from now on because herd, sheep, that's Jesus' term for his believers. And I kind of want to move us away from that because we are Jesus' flock. We are Jesus' sheep. He's our shepherd. And that means that we know his voice. This is more like a hive, what's going on. Hive. Hive. And if you know anything about bees, then it makes more sense to call this hive mentality because it's all about one world, this one race, this one, one people, this blah, 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 one. That is a hive mentality. Could also call it colony because ants do the same thing. But... I'm going to call it a hive. It makes more sense. So, yeah. Maybe that's why Beyonce has her followers called the hive. She is a very high Luciferian priestess. And don't go th saying I don't know what I'm talking about here because for years when I was of the world, when I was pagan... I loved Beyonce and her music. I actually had every single one of her albums on my iTunes, okay? Every single one. And then I subscribed to um, Tide. Is it Tide? Can't even remember it now. Title. And I had all of her albums on there too. And her husband's. So yeah. I was a huge fan. Little did I know those were spells. Luciferian spells. And I can tell you my favorite song from her too. My favorite song was Kitty Cat. And then of course Countdown because I was like, when I was pregnant that was my favorite one. Because she was pregnant in there. She was pregnant in the music video, so it was one of my other favorite ones. <sighs> you guys just don't know. And then later, it was, why don't you love me? Yeah, so I was a huge fan. You can't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. She is huge in the occultic symbolism in most of her music videos. So, Yeah. Hive mentality seems like the proper terminology for this Luciferian nonsense. Especially if we're going to talk about AI merging with humans. The way that they're doing with the graphene oxide. And the other magnetic particles that they've been putting in their crowned cow. Crowned cow. 
death bite. That's, that's the new term I'm using <laughs> just for now until I find another one. But, or I could just call it sting since we're talking about hive, right? Yeah, so they're crowned cow sting. Yeah. Well, anyway, they're putting all this junk in it. And most of the deaths and numbers are coming from that. But because you are so hive-minded, you're not seeing it clearly. You need to look no further than VARES. The reporting. And then times that by 99. That's scary. That's just scary. For instance, those are my lights. I thought there was like some kind of stars going on back there. But anyway, for instance, there have been 48,000 deaths from the crowned cow sting. 48,000. And I have the proof on my bit shoot. So if you want to see that, I would recommend you going and watching. And yes, they're long because I had to screen record many different videos with evidence, many different videos, and then mesh them all together, combine them all together, and then build a file and then pop it on there. So, um, for anyone who wants all those links to the original, uh, I would just, I'll post it in the description box too. And then you can see for yourself the truth. Not in this description box. I don't really know if I should do that because you guys could just report it. My haters could just report it and then it get banned and then those people lose all that evidence. Maybe I won't do that. If you want the truth and the originals, you're going to need to email me and I need to vet you. Then I'll send you the link. If you're really truthfully for the truth, then you won't mind that. So, that being said, that being said, I'm going to go to bed now. Very tired. And I'll catch y'all in the morning. Early. Tomorrow's one of my favorite days because I, like I like to make fried eggs for Johnny. Fried eggs and bacon. I don't know why, but I love cooking that. I love it. It's one of my favorite things to cook for him. So I get to do it tomorrow. So I'll see you in the morning. Bright. Well, not bright. It's going to be dark still. Quite night still for like two hours. But you know what I mean. We'll see you in the AM. Good night, y'all. Catch you tomorrow. Love y'all.